Hello, on this new tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to use the burn effect to create some shaping. We'll add some of the tools as needed. I'm going to work on the hair and makeup layer of my current sketch. Um, first, I'm going to look to select with my uh, drop tool the skin tone. I'm going to open the skin tone. I'm going to go for a darker. And I say OK. And now I'm going to use a brush. And I'm going to look at my menu on the top banner. When I switch that instead of normal, I'm going to do color burn. And I'm going to put a very light opacity. What the color burn does, it adds this wonderful texture, almost like adding blush or bronzer to a skin tone. Um, it also works like mixing ink with watercolors, um, but we have to be careful because it's very, very strong. So I always dilute it to like 15, 10%, 10% or even less. Um, now that I have my brush set up, a color burn 15%, I'm going to try that and see how it works. I'm in my hair and makeup layer. Uh, the brush seems to be a little small, so I'm going to go a little bigger. Think of it as applying um, makeup. I also want it to be softer. So let's see. Okay, that's better. I'm going to go even a little bit more. I'm going to try that. Okay, great. So you see how it begins to add this shaping? Now, I'm putting the shadow in the opposite side that I put um, some of the shadows in the blouse. Um, actually, no, I'm on the right side here. So I'm going to continue. Um, this creates this wonderful effect on this layer. So I'm just applying makeup, basically. I do a little bit on this side too. Okay, so we just create this wonderful shaping. I'm going to stop there because this is addictive. Um, you can do the same for the hair. You can burn some size. And in fact, I'm going to go even darker because for the hair, she's reddish hair. It's this sort of auburn. So I'm going to add some more of this in here. I can also go darker. I don't, I don't need to stay in this particular. So there we go. We start getting some shaping. Okay. Um, I didn't like that burn. So I'm going to go to my history and go back. There we go. Um, I can also look at the highlight of that. I could say, um, I may, let's give her some copper tones in there. And I could switch to color dodge, which is the opposite effect. Instead of burning it, we're actually almost like tinting it. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can use that. Yep. Now you saw how bright that is. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to lower just to see if this is good. At 20 may be too much. I'm going to do less. I'm going to go to um, 12. So now I can just apply almost like applying makeup. Okay, so this is the highlight of her hair. Okay. I'm going to try the same on the skin tone to see if I can get so the same lighting is hitting the face. See that? So now I have a little sheen in there. Um, don't be afraid if it seems too much when you're doing this, because actually what's going to happen is when you make it the right size, it looks a lot less. Um, the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the eyes. This is a fun tool to, to use. Um, she had, I believe she, Amy, um, she has this wonderful green eyes. I'm going to make him a little bit um, darker. Um, you can use the paint tool. Make sure that it's normal. I'm going to do 100%. Okay, and I'm going to dump it inside the eyeball right there. There we go. Oh, didn't go in. Try again. Didn't go in. Why isn't it going in? Okay, it's normal 100%. I'm going to enlarge this to see what's happening. Oh, maybe I enlarged it too much. There we go. And now I can see what is going on. Why isn't it painted? Okay, so it looks like it was painted everything but the green. Um, all right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to try again. Green. Green. Um, I'm, I'm trying not to delete any of my mistakes, so I can encourage you and tell you that we all make mistakes here. I'm going to go back to using my brush tool with the green. Um, so instead of paint, I'm going to use brush, because I'm not sure what's happening, why it's not doing what I want. I want a sharp one that goes smaller. Okay, that's a good size. 
um, I'm in color dark, so I want to go to normal. 100%. Okay, there we go. Now, the one reason I think this is not taking pain is because maybe this um, did not magic one. Uh, so, it's, uh, so it means that all the other layers actually have the problem. So we have to go to the top layer and paint it. And then we go, see that? Now, I don't like doing that because then if I need to make a change, it's on a different layer. But because it's the belt layer and I'm going to worry too much, uh, that's my very top layer. So I'm going to do some shading there. Um, so it may end up being really okay. Um, otherwise, I will have to go and uh, work on all the layers and delete the white. All right. So I had the green eye in there. Um, another thing that I like to do is using the color burn. Again, burn. Uh, not as much like that. I use the brush. I like to go in a really small and begin to add some more detail. So I can actually add a little bit more of that. See what I'm doing? Just to create more depth. And then I'm going to go to black. And I'm going to add the, the pupil. And I'm going to go to normal 100%. OK. I'm going to add the, um, sometimes like using the right size that I had to create, because sometimes I'm not very good with the eyeballs. And then she has two different eyeballs. So these are the same. OK. And the next step is going to be, I'm going to add the highlight, which gives it some life. There we go. I'm going to make the size smaller. So we know the light's coming from the top, so I'm going to put it on the side here, like that. Okay. And then I can do some touch up. I can actually go back to this burn color that I was using and use a darker tone. Okay. I can do makeup. Now you realize I'm working on the top layer, on the belt layer, mainly because there was this problem with the highlight. You can do that or you can work on the face layer either. Um, sometimes it's better to work on the top layer. So in case you need to change um, the actor because maybe it gets cast with somebody else, you can leave the makeup, but change the hair color, etc. So now that I have the color burn and I have the brush uh, and I'm going to color burn and I'm putting it, how about, 30%, I can actually add some makeup in here. Okay, I can fix some of these little problems that I have. Uh, like here, so she doesn't look possessed. And I can use a lighter setting and I can give her a little bit of eyeshadow. I know you can see that. Okay, I can make it bigger and I can just All right, I can also have a shadow in here. All right, and now for the lips, I can do something similar. I can actually, um, let's say she's using um, coral color. Uh, let's see, I'm on color burn, so I want to be on the regular color. I'm going to put it maybe 75%. Okay, applying the lipstick, a little smaller here. Okay, and now I'm gonna give her again a highlight because um, she has gloss on her lips um, and they are luscious. The director said that they needed to look kissable. So let's try, so there we go. Okay, I'm also gonna fix the tooth here. There we go, if you need to whiten the eyes, you can have more white, you know, on your side. So that way, things are matched you know, in the best possible way. Now I'm going to uh, take zoom, uh, zoom out view. Um, zoom out. Great. And you can see how now the face also has this wonderful bevel aspect to it. There's more detailed work I can do. I can use my wake up tab with my pencil then to add some line drawing here and there to finesse this. But for now, I'm just doing the foundation of this shaping. And I will do this with various sketches, one right after the other. So I keep doing the same steps. Um, so it becomes a little bit faster. Um, but this is uh, the tutorial for right now. It's about how to 
use the burn and dodge tools with your brush you can also use them with your paint tool and uh, create this sort of shaping this wonderful shaping so it becomes sort of flat a little bit more dimensional thank you so much